your bean on if you want. Uh, cheese pizza is the saddest. <laughs> I think he's working, so I don't think he's going to hear you. <laughs> I think he's working away. <laughs> okay, John, we'll, we'll get it out of the way. Uh, good day, good to Hey, how are you doing, Headforge? How's your evening going, buddy? What have you been up to, my friend? Hope things are well. It's lovely to see you again. Right. Wash. Let's put this in there. Tired of work? You've been working quite a considerable amount. amount. Maybe it's time for like a holiday or, you know, have you got holiday coming up soon? Mm. Cucumber. I love it. So good. Right. Talking about cucumber. Let's pickle that bad boy very nicely. So there's the pickling. It's gone into it. So we can set that aside or pop it in the fridge. Is that like cool enough? Yeah, that can go in the fridge. So we'll put that in the fridge now. But um, I hope everything's okay. I hope work isn't too crazy for you, man. And yeah, sometimes, you know, after a while, you just need a bit of a break from work. If you've been working like loads and loads and loads and it's just like, uh, gets like really exhausting and, you know, you just, you just got to take a bit of time out, you know, got to take a week off or, you know, go do something that you enjoy. You know, you got you to gotta have a little bit of time for yourself. Even for me. Uh, sometimes I need to take a little bit of holidays here and there. Just have a bit of a break and then carry on when we come back, you know. What are holidays, feels bad, man. Well, whatever kind of work you're doing, you should have some form of holiday or some form of, like, break. You shouldn't be working 24-7 or every day or, you know. Um, that's that's not, that's not good, you know. Surely nothing's worth, worth not having a break. In, not in my eyes, at least. I, I, you know. There's more to life than just working, guys. Uh, hey, Chef. I hope you are doing well. Pipet, I'm doing fantastic. How's things with you, my friend? What have you been up to? Pipet, have you changed your name? Who are you? Pipet. I'm trying to recall the name. Have you changed your name? Oh, wait. No, no, that's it's, it's Barbette. I know who it is now. It's Barbette. You told me the other day. My memory's not that bad. It was, but it's not It's not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> Welcome on back, Barbet. How, how's things with you? Um, if you were to replace this plastic wrap, um, you can use, like, instead of, like, a damp cloth. Yeah, you could use a damp cloth if you wanted to, or a bit of foil if you want. Um, you know, that'd be fine. I, I remembered. I remembered. Just about. Um... Programming is, like, not something I will do, like, my entire life, I think. I mean, if you've got, like, a plan or, like, um, getting, like, your retirement fund ready or something like that, you know, um, it's always good, you know, always plan ahead. I'm so screwed for retirement, but, you know, maybe I'll keep doing this until I'm, like, 80 or something. Who knows? I, I enjoy what I do. That's all I care about. Hmm. Delicious. Uh, where's my spray? Oh, I haven't got a spray, have I? It's gonna have to be wipes, wipes instead. So, just want to give my uh, counter a little bit of a clean down. Make sure it's all nice, clean, and tidy. Beautiful. Okay, so next thing on the agenda. Um, we've done that. We've done that. That's fantastic. We could probably start getting the uh, chips, the baked chips, ready. Uh, getting the bacon cooking, I guess, actually, would be a nice one. So. Uh, let's get the bacon on the go so we can need to turn the oven on get that nice and crispy so uh 350 180 celsius you know the standard nothing complicated <laughs> i scheduled a couple of like mental health days to myself uh week after next good for you rami you always got to have a bit of a break or look after yourselves guys it's really important and uh, that's fantastic rami i hope you have a nice nice relax um bacon Who's got the bacon? Chef got the bacon. Uh, let's grab my, my bacon tray. Looking a little bit yellow because of the uh, curry powder from yesterday, but it's okay. It'll disappear eventually. Retirement plan's screwed for uh, for all of us, really. I feel like it's more screwed for me because I don't get holiday pay. I don't get retirements. Whereas, like, if you standard work, you know, you can, like, start start your own, like, kind of private pension. Whereas, like, I'm, I've got nothing. I'm so screwed. But I'll worry about it when we get to it. 
I was going to, uh, sorry, I wrote that one. Uh, mine is with the organization exit. Oh, really? <laughs> Just burned 10,000 calories. That's the last time I leave uh, brownies in the oven while I nap. What? Oh, I thought you were doing exercise. I, I just only like kind of clocked on. I was like, what? How is like burning brownies? How? Uh, oh, I got it. <laughs> well, it saved you some calories, right? Right? I guess that's the positive side of it. I, I guess. <laughs> oh, you got me there, Dixie. That was a that was a nice little cheeky trick question right there. I was going to say, oh, good for you. Good for for the exercise, right? Right, so I want them to fit into the into the sandwich, so having little kind of uh, strips would be great, so let's go for this. Curry bacon. Yeah, the curry flavor won't come off. It's just basically the staining from it. From uh, inside the curry powder, you have um, turmeric in there, and that's what's staining, the, staining the, uh, the, the tray a little bit, but it won't come off with the flavor, certainly not. Right. And my bacon should not be yellow by the time it comes out, so we should be okay. I say should, right? You know what should mean, right? It's supposed to go one way, but sometimes it doesn't, but we'll see. Okay, so bacon is on. I've got two slices for a cheeky breakfast at some point this uh, next week, or on the, on the weekend probably. I maybe get a soon a kitchen. Have you not got a kitchen at the moment? Well, that's good. If you're getting a kitchen soon, I hope hope you get it. Right. Where are we at now? So, I'm gonna pop this in the oven. It's not gonna take long. I'm gonna take some uh, cheeky Instagram videos. How many have I got now? I've got one or two. I think I've got two. Got up a maximum of ten. So technically eight because I need two for the end product. So, okay. Why is bacon so good? Like. Two pieces of bread, just like beloved bacon and with HP sauce. It's just one of these things, either HP or tomato sauce. I'm more of a tomato sauce man, but I, I don't know. I'm a bit partial to a bit of HP now and again. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just one of these British things that you have. But I know Americans like to have bacon uh, with a lot of things. Um, always like a bacon sandwich. Very. I feel like bacon sandwich is very British. I could be wrong. Please tell me. No, chef, you're totally wrong. It's actually kind of American as well, you know. But I feel like, for British people, I feel like a bacon sandwich is very, very typical for like kind of a breakfast, right? Um, I have a single kitchen with, with a, like a small table. Okay, so it's very tiny, so you, you're kind of getting a, a little cheeky upgrade, right, Nikki? So I hope, I hope that goes well for you, and I hope you get it. Right, so that's going in. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer, so I'd say about seven minutes each. So I'm going to put an eight-minute timer on. I'm going to flip them over and then give them a couple more minutes. So let's hold up timer. Uh, let's go for seven. There we go. Let's see where we are then. Uh, isn't that bacon all fat? No, it's got bacon and meat. It's a streaky bacon chilled storm, so it's different to the uh, Canadian bacon or the British bacon that we have as medallions for bacon. Um, right, so, bacon's on, I, I need to do the, um, the cheese, let me wash my board very, very quickly, uh, so we're going to slice that cheese up, so let's give this a nice little scrub, beautiful. So once my board is washed, we're going to ch chop up a little bit of cheese. Now I'm just deciding, like, what kind of cheese do I want to go on my my, my uh, chicken burger? Now I've got a few options in there. We got mozzarella. I'll bring out a few cheeses, and you guys can decide in chat uh, what cheese you want on this chicken burger. Did I slice myself somehow? I feel something very tender. Nope, I don't see anything. Hmm, very weird. Um, so I'll pull out a few cheeses and uh, we'll have a look and you guys can vote and decide what cheese you want to be there. A nice cheddar. I've got a nice English cheddar, which is nice and mature. Lots of flavor in it. Um, so I'll pull a few out and you guys can decide. So wait wait for me to pull them out and then we can uh, have a look and decide then, all right? Okay. 
And then maybe I have a finally another one. Fantastic. I hope you do get it. Really tiny kitchen. We're just like looking for like a four is like four meters large. Well, as long as you can do something in there. I, I feel like as long as you've got an oven fridge, uh, enough space to do a little bit of bit of work, you know, that was good. I mean, my, my old kitchen was very small last in, my, in the apartment I was in before. We did streams on it and even people were like, Chef, how are you even rolling that dough out on that space? I'm just like, I manage. It works out fine. Don't worry. Um, right, so, so we've got English, British, is it British Coastal Cheddar? Yeah, British Coastal ch Cheddar, nice, mature, strong. We've also got uh, part, part skin mozzarella, so we've got that one as well. Uh, hmm. I feel like feta is like, not really an op option there. Some Monterey Jack. Um, I think that's it. We got a few other ones in there, but so we got English coastal cheddar, we got mozzarella, or we got Monterey Jack. So mozzarella, Monterey, or English. So put in English Jack or mozzarella into chat. Start putting them in in chat now, and let's see what you guys want. Provolone? No, we haven't got to provolone. Uh, DNK. Um, I just use them. Um, skim. Throw that out. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Alf. It certainly isn't. I mean, a new table would be also fine for me because, like, um, uh, kitchens are so expensive. English cheddar. I'm guessing you mean the cheddar. Yeah, this English cheddar. So, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine, DNK. I got you. I got you. What am I supposed to be putting in chat? Hey, Rexus. Welcome back. Uh, mozzarella, Monterey Jack cheese, or English coastal mature cheddar. Which one do you want on the on the chick on the chicken burger? <laughs> potatoes. There's no such thing as potatoes. Get out of here, Shifty. <laughs> uh, happy birthdays in chat. Whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? Cheddar is life. I feel like Cheddar's won this one, guys. I feel like Cheddar's won this one. Um, so yeah, I, I do like a bit of Monterey. Oh, I do need to get. Kind of wasted a little bit here. The air's got to it. I should have uh, wrapped that one up, but wrap that up nicely. I'm gonna get a little bit of cling film. Oh, it's here. Um, so yeah, okay. We'll use the English coastal cheddar, cheddar, cheddar then. <laughs> or, okay, for the ones that have voted for English coastal cheddar, would you like a little bit of mozzarella on there as well? Would you like a little bit of both? Yes or no? I feel like a little bit of both would be actually really nice, but maybe too much. You can say no if you want to. Yes or no for two cheeses. No. What's up, Chef? Uh, and chat, if anyone sees him, extend my thanks to Doof for yesterday. Gifts up uh, while I was driving in to get food. Cypher, no problem. Well, I'm sure if we see him again, we'll, we'll let him know, Cypher. Or just give him a PM on, on Twitch if you want to say thank you you can always do that never enough cheese sure yes do it okay we'll do a little bit of little bit of both then i feel like uh, sounds good are you gonna heat that up with the mozzarella melts and then go and then, uh, i could go for it oh yeah we're gonna let it melt we're gonna get the cheese melted guys it's not gonna be on go on cold and be like yeah nah nah we're gonna put the chicken in the oven what i'm gonna do is cut the cheese put the chicken when it finishes off in the oven and the cheese will melt on top of it so that's what I'm going to do. I'm sure I'll see him one on the stream another uh, or another tonight. Yeah, no problem, Cypher. No problem at all. I hope you enjoy the gift sub. Not a problem at all. Okay, so um, I'll slice these up then. I'm going to do a bit of both. That sounds good to me. This, this cheese is so good. I, I love cheese. And uh, mm, it's so great. So, so good. I would say cheese is one of my favorite things. If I'm out and about, right, in a restaurant. Welcome back. Oh, Jack. Jack cheese. Oh, I'm sorry, Rami. <laughs> but if I'm out and about in um, in restaurants, right, and there's nothing on the menu on the dessert that tickles my fancy, it's too much chocolatey, or there's nothing that really kind of stands out, I usually go for a good cheese. And if they don't do a good cheese, then I'm very unhappy. But I do like trying lots of different cheeses. It's great. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, good cheese is great. It is. I love it. And, you know, having it with, like, you know, some decent, like, kind of crackers and, um, you know, jellies and, and chutneys and, oh, so good. So, so good. It's very crumbly, but that's fine. We can get it on. It's very nice cheese, though. It's super, super nice. And if you've got a Trader Joe's near you, go check it out, guys. Um, it's called English Coastal Cheddar. That's all it's called. Um, it's easy to find. It's got like a little brown packet on there. Um, so if you want to go try it, a nice, strong, salty, mature cheddar. Really, really good. Oh, timer. How's my bacon doing? A bit longer. I'll give it another couple of minutes because the oven was heating up. So give it in about four more minutes. Then we're going to flip it. Yeah, five. That'll do. Right. So we can't import cheese, it's made from the micro-filtered, what's that? So we wish we could sell micro-filtered in the States, but pasteurized is uh, still like... Is that why you guys... I just thought like... Because for like the States, honestly, I haven't come across a really decent cheese yet. Is is that because of that law? Is that is that why um, they've got to filter everything and they lose that kind of matureness? Pretty sure I've never tried cheddar, really. Uh, not so much of the cheese fan. Uh, crumbly means it's like really great. Oh, it certainly is. That's because of the of that lot. Oh, really? So is that why? Because I, I like I've been looking for ages for like a really decent like American cheese. Uh, and being from Britain, I feel like Britain is very good for their cheeses. I will say that. Uh, very very good for their cheddars. Uh, all sorts of great different types of cheeses there. Um, definitely mature cheddars. They're really good for like strength and age, um, and they got so much depth and flavour. Um, but I've never like kind of found any like US based cheese products that are like I could say yes this is amazing I'm sure they're out there you know there's, there's probably some like places in America or different states that do some really nice cheeses I just haven't come across them yet I'd love to come across them though um, and we can't sell like the raw and the microfill is it's considered raw okay but I'm sure there are some good ones because I was like reading an article the other day that uh, apparently American cheese, when people think about it, they, all they think about is that um, crappy, you know, that the, the, the stuff that comes out on the, uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the sheet, and you put that on the burgers, right? The American cheese. But uh, they were saying that people think of American cheese, that's, that's all they do. Um, apparently there's not, there's a lot of really good cheeses out there apparently, but I just haven't come across them. Where's my knife gone? Oh, it's in the sink. Washed it up, didn't I? Doobie doo boo. You mean like Parmesan is illegal in America because like that is a lot. I suppose it depends on what state as well, right? Unless it's like um, a unit, like a all-round law. But every state has different laws though, Cypher. Um, unless it's just for your state, possibly. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I, I don't know about this, but you know. But I'd love to find some really good cheeses. Uh, what about the mozzarella? Yeah, I'm slicing it now. I'm slicing it now. Chill your boots. <laughs> no worries. We're on. We're on it, Nikki. Um, I will say something. Sometimes craft on burger is good. Um, not a big fan of that company. <laughs> Parmesan has to be raw. Or it can't be like core Parmesan. Um, can I get like English coastal cheddar in the USA? Yeah, if you go to Trader Joe's, right? They, that's where they sell it. The English Coastal Cheddar, if you go to Trader Joe's. And the great thing with Trader Joe's, right? They should be sponsoring me, but hey, don't care. Um, they're actually really good price as well. You go every, anywhere else, it's near enough, almost half the price of everywhere else that you go for, like, good quality cheese. So I always go there for cheese. It's really good price. It's good quality. Um, so that's where I got it from. And maybe, I don't know if it'll be in your store, but for my store, the English, English Coastal was there. There's also another one called... I'm pretty sure it's like a British or English one. And it's got caramelized onions in it. It's pretty nice. It's pretty good. Oh, is like mozzarella also illegal? I got no idea. I'm not too sure on the laws, Nikki. I'm not too sure. Um, I think people are like confused by like what constitutes uh, raw. Maybe. Uh, and it also depends, I think, Cypher, right? Unless it's like all round. I don't know. But I'm just I'm just stating it. I'm, I'm asking it. It's like maybe it's... Depends on what state you're in as well, because there's so many different laws for different states. Chef, you have to go to Vermont uh, to get the decent uh, cheddar. There's so many different places. I mean, France does some, ama some amazing cheeses. One of my favorite cheeses that France does 
Um, I always forget the name, but all I can remember it's called. Um, I think it's something like Tom de Alla Raison, which basically is the uh, leftover pulp from the red wine, and they coat the cheese in it, and then they mature it. Oh my god, that cheese is amazing. So good. So damn good. Um, but yeah, there's there's probably lots of cheeses out there that I haven't tried, and I, I'd love to try. Um, I just love cheese in general, guys. It's just so, so good. Uh, there's only a few cheeses that I've never really liked. The ones that I've never really liked, I'm really sorry if there's any Yorkshire folk in here. I really apologize. But I cannot stand uh, Wensleydale. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry for you wonderful Yorkshire folk, but I just can't stand Wensleydale. It, it's just, it's just, it's, it doesn't agree with me. Uh, but uh, I, I like all of the cheeses, though. Um, maybe there's like a few breeds I'm not a huge fan of, but they're, they're pretty good. So, you know. You just like Gorgonzola? That's fair enough. You know, some people like blue cheese and some people don't. I love blue cheese, so Gorgonzola is up there with me. Um, I love all sorts of types of blue cheese. So good. Um, okay, there is like a law. Must be like age past 60 days. Oh, okay, there we go. That's interesting. Uh, in the United States. However, laws let regulate from the sales of the cheese made from the unpasteurized milk in the USA. Uh, raw milk cheese can be like sold after it's like aged for like 60 days. Okay, is that like all states or is that like for a certain state? Um... So I stand corrected. So which is like how Parmesan manages the pass? Okay, there we go. There we go. Though technically they call it something else, right? Because if it was actually Parmesan, it would be from the uh, proper Italian uh, Parmesan, right? It's like when you say, oh, I made some champagne or brewed some champagne, but it's not actually from Champagne because you know, there's a place in uh, Sh uh, called Champagne in France. That's why they call it Champagne. Um, so, you know. But I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, so it's all states. This is the US, like, the federal law. So, okay, all rounds. Okay, that's interesting. Right, this is going to need a couple of couple of minutes longer. Chef, how are you holding that trait? I don't know, but I'm, I managed to do it, so it's all good. Don't worry. <laughs> right, cheese is sliced. Bacon is good. It's on the go. Uh, so I'm just going to cling film this, put this in my fridge, so that's ready to go on the chicken when we cook it off later. Um, I feel like we can start cooking the fries. Or should we get the, the mayonnaise done? Let's get the fries cooking and then we can make the mayonnaise while the fries are, are, are coming up to the boil. I feel that'll be a good idea. From Parma, yeah, that, exactly, thank you. Uh, we import like the proper Parm, like champagne from the US is like sparkling, yeah, sparkling wine, that's it. Right, okay, so, but I know people still like call it, oh, let's go get some champagne, but.